What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching. Today's video is all about scalping on the one minute chart. But before we get started, be sure to comment down below, turn on that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can stay updated for all of these videos. Now back to today's video. What you're about to see is a three point turn or a swing point. Those of you who are Gorilla Futures members will know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you aren't a member, go back and watch some of my videos or click that link right up above and you can figure out exactly all the details, examples, and everything you need to know about this entry. Now, the one minute time frame isn't a time frame that I trade normally every single day, but I also do like trading the one minute when we can have these momentum plays and that is exactly what you're about to see. Also, this signal is valid on the 4,500 tick, the 2,000 tick, the 5, 10, 15, 60 minute chart, pretty much anything that can be charted. So that includes Forex, stocks, crypto, obviously futures. This setup is valid. Now let's take a look at exactly what happened and go from there. What's going on traders looking to get short here and I won't have time to explain this trade, um, but I will explain it here in just a moment. We've got about eight seconds left in this bar. I'm looking to get short uh, for anywhere between five and seven points, depending on how the market reacts. And I'm going to enter in short right here. Order submitted. Let's see if we can get a fill. Actually, I'm going to move this down just to right Order here. Filled. I wanted to get filled at the end of that, and I don't really want to wait. Uh, so let me explain to you exactly what's going on. I know I got this video up when there's just a few seconds left, so I do apologize for that. Um, but sometimes it is what it is. I can't predict the future, unfortunately. Um, but so what I'm looking at right here is a nice swing point. We have our one up, one consolidate, and then our one down. We do have a gap up play. Uh, those of you who are members know we go over this pretty much every single day. Uh, so I'm looking to get short and something that's a little different than what we normally see in my videos is today I'm scalping a one minute chart. Uh, this is something I like to do occasionally. Um, it's not something I do every single day, but I am a fan of the one minute chart and I'm going to move my break even back up here just because we're a little choppy. And I'll explain that again here in just a moment. So I'm actually going to move this up to pretty much be a one-to-one. -one. So like I mentioned just a second ago, what I'm looking at right here is a three point turn or a swing point. Uh, those of you who are members will know exactly what I'm talking about. So kind of let me lead you up to this trade or kind of my idea behind this. Uh, what is essentially happening is we had a gap up overnight. We run into resistance right around this 46 level. Um, and for the time being, it looks like we're going to continue to move down. Uh, that's kind of what I'm banking on or kind of my idea behind this is we come down here and we eventually close this gap right around this 3828 level. So that's one of the reasons why I'm short. We are under our EMA, but my only kind of uh, caution or only kind of a, a thing that I'm not that big of a fan of right here is this EMA. It currently is flat here at the moment. Um, ideally, I do like to see my uh, EMAs with some sort of slope, either positive or negative. Um, but for the time being, it does look like this is working out. This trade might end up being an extremely fast trade. Um, again, this is the one minute chart instead of the 4,500 tick that we normally look at or I normally trade. Um, but remember, everything we talk about in these videos is applicable to pretty much any time frame. So if you're trading a five minute chart, an hourly chart, a, a one minute chart like this, all the rules are exactly the same. And that's kind of why I like it. Price action is pretty much price action. You just have to find the correct time frame or the time frame that works best for you. So with that said, it looks like we are about a point and a half Tar in. Target filled. We got a fill just like that. So that was pretty quick. Um, I do kind of want to walk through that trade just a little bit more um, since, uh, since it kind of happened fast and I didn't really get to explain or I didn't explain as much as I would have liked. And honestly, I was extremely surprised that we did come down and hit that fast. I figured this would be maybe five, 10 minutes. Um, but again, just a recap, we ran into resistance up here on the open. Pretty much, we call, I could call this like a triple top. It's at least a double top. You have one right here, you have one right here, you have one right here, you have one right here. So we've tried to break this level four times. So that was the first kind of sign to me. Uh, or signal that we could possibly run into resistance and maybe we'll come back down here and close that gap. And look, we're pretty much what? A point away, a point and a half away. Um, so that was kind of the first sign. And then once I saw this big strong push and this big rejection right, right up here, 
I kind of had an idea that we could be running down. Uh, one or two of the things that I didn't like that much about this trade, our EMA was a little flat, and I was essentially selling into a support level. We definitely have support, or we did have support down here right around this 37 level. I got short right around, what's that, that 40 level um, for six contracts. So I'm not a big fan of selling into support, but one of the times that I do do this, or really the only time that I will sell into support, is when we have a lot of momentum, we're moving fast, and it's almost like a breakout trade where I'm looking to kind of capture some momentum for a small for a small profit, small gain. In this case, it was about seven points, and then get out. Um, this is a kind of a, um, how can I say this? This is kind of a, uh, a setup for breakout traders. I personally am not a breakout trader. Um, the only time I am a, br a breakout trader is when we have this strong momentum, prices moving extremely fast or extremely slow. And again, those of you who are members, We'll know that I talk about having a playbook for these fast days when we're just moving like this, pretty much what I call a momentum play, or kind of our standard just buy the pullback, sell the rallies uh, type of play as well. And it's good to always have a playbook or kind of a set of rules for bearish examples, bullish examples, trending days, non-trending days, slow days. So I would, if you are new to trading or maybe you're having some issues, I would definitely go back and kind of look at why you're having these losses and really analyze the type of day that you had this loss because just because you have a losing day when price is moving down extremely fast that setup might work on a slower day where price is just kind of slowly trending up or slowly trending down so i definitely recommend you have two different playbooks um, again this was an extremely fast play uh, extremely fast trade that i didn't think would happen that fast but I hope that did make some sense really wanted to explain uh, explain my idea behind this is essentially resistance and a gap play right here uh, this gap play is something that I honestly try to play every single day and is a very popular strategy so as always if you have any questions need any help anything I can do to help you out feel free to comment down below take advantage of our free discord there is a link in the description down below or if you have anything that's a little personal feel free to shoot me an email at gorillafutures at gmail.com as always thanks for watching Really do appreciate all the views, comments, um, and things like that. It's awesome to see this community grow. And as always, good luck, and I wish you nothing but the best.